with the Federal Reserve po poised to raise interest rates for the first time in eight years later this month, we need to reassess a big pool of stocks, the high-yielding bond market alternative plays that will become less attractive as the Fed tightens because bonds and certificates of deposits will finally offer some real competition. Which stocks in particular? Many of the utilities and pipeline stocks. Some are their bond market alternatives. And the same goes for lots of real estate investment trusts. But some of these REITs are hanging in there and performing a lot better than you'd think. Take Federal Realty, FRT, which owns 90 shopping center properties, mostly in wealthy and densely populated metro areas across the Northeast, the Mid-Atlantic, California, and Florida. At a time when so much of retail, particularly mall-based chains, seems to be struggling, Federal Realty has been performing pretty darn well. Its stock's down just six points from its all-time high. It's up 8.4% for the year before distributions. In part, that's because when the company last reported a little over a month ago, it beat Wall Street its top and bottom lines estimates also raise its full year guidance. Federal Real is an incredibly well-run, well-managed well company. And even though it's a REIT, people own this stock because of its consistent growth, as much for its solid 2.6% dividend yield. So I think it can trump any rate hike, particularly if the Fed takes a one-and-done approach. Don't take it from me. Let's check in with Don Wood, the president and CEO of Federal Realty Investment Trust, hear more about how his company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Wood, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to yeah, see you. Great to see you, too. Thanks for having me. I have a seat, Don. i got to tell you, uh, the real estate investment trust, the pipelines, all of them kind of been revealed during this period, and I said many of them, as not growth vehicles, but as income vehicles. And sure. you need growth. You used a phrase in your most recent conference call, you're a five-tool player. I want you to explain <laughs> that to our viewers. <laughs> you know, I, I, get, uh, I get a little bit of abuse about, uh, about the baseball analogy because I love baseball. Sure. But in baseball, when there is a player uh, that a scout is looking at and, and he's, got, he's got the ability to be a great hitter, hit for power, hit for average, to be a great fielder, to be able to do everything necessary, defensive everything, to be a baseball player, a good baseball player, he's known as a five-tool player. There aren't a lot of five-tool no. players uh, in the league. I, see, I, I try to make the analogy to Federal that way simply because I don't want to be dependent on any one thing. And we're not. It's why we don't do too much development. It's why we're very diversified in our tenant base. It's why we're not dependent on women's fashions or right. men's fashions. It's why we, are, we try to be as diversified as we can in all ways. So in the quiver back here, right. we've got arrows that we can pull out for lots of different things. The best that, that we have these days is a balance sheet that's as strong as can Jeez, be. And you borrow at a rate that no one else is borrowing at in your field. We do. Done. We're one of three, maybe four A-rated companies. Right. And uh, that's really important at times like this. Now, I think uh, we had a guest on one of our favorites, Manny Chirico, the head of PVH. Tough business right now, fashion. I yeah. want to play a little clip from what he had to say, get your reaction. Let's listen to this. There's this death of mall theory that is really going around. Can you, can you shoot it down? No, I can't shoot it down completely. I think the issue that's going on is this. There are too many stores in America, and I don't know if that's 10% or 15%. So but 85% says we're overstored. Yes. Now, we know that you're a shopping center, not more, but that's important. I want you to just explain what you think of that quote. Well, look, I, you know, everybody speaks from where they're coming from. Right. It's what they know, mm -hmm. et cetera. And as you say, I'm not a mall guy, so I don't particularly know. I don't know the specific results in malls, et cetera. All I know is it gets back to kind of where, where I was coming from. If, I, I want to be as broad-based and reliant on as many different areas as possible. For example... Health and wellness, when you look at the soul cycles of the world today, look at what's going on with, with Pilates and with, with, with Blue Mercury and, and the value type of tenants like Ulta or Nordstrom Rack still growing right. well, Saks Off Saks, Fifth. Yeah, Saks Off Fifth. Uh, again, not to mention food, not right. to mention, and that's sit down, that's QSRs, it, 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 it's different types of food. These are all non-Amazon. These are, these are all non-Amazon. By the way, Amazon's looking at uh, bricks and mortar store, by the way. They've got, with them? they've got one open. We are talking to them are about you it, really? but I'm, we don't need to get all into right. that now. Yeah, I don't want to lose but, it because but, 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 it's fascinating. But it is fascinating. And the point, the, you, you actually sent me up beautifully with right. the five tool, tool player analogy. If you've got the ability, and I think open air is the place, right. I'm absolutely talking my book there, but that's because right. it's what I believe. If you've got the place to be able to, to, to cater to as many possible different sectors of the retail economy as possible, you're in pretty good shape, particularly if you're in the locations that, that uh, you know, where demand exceeds supply. 
I do agree with him that, you know, and I've said this for 100 years, America is over retail. Right. Now, 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 and that's simply supply and demand overall. And yet you've been putting up 7%, 7%, 7%. If we're overstored, how is that possible? Because real estate is not a macro game. It's a micro game. It's that street corner. It's that particular right. environment. It's that city, et cetera. And so when you start looking at things right. in such a macro base, I mean, we, you know, listen, we're, we're, we're not portfolio managers. We're real estate operators. Right. There's a big difference there. Right. And, and as long as you stay, it's a, it's a local business that if you beat up and work a bit, worry about those details, you can do really, really well in the right places. Why in the comps call did we spend so much time talking about wall bombs and A&P going on? I was trying to understand that. Really important point. Okay. Um, you, you know, we had four A&Ps, A&P, wall bounce, path right. market, or three. When you have old shopping center leases, those shopping center leases are pretty restrictive. And when I say restrictive, they don't let you get to certain yeah. things in the shopping center to redevelop that, that, then, that you can otherwise get to if you're in the right areas. Right. So we went, when, when that bankruptcy happened, it was fantastic for us, right, gave us the ability, was so interesting. let us buy those leases out so that we have control right. of what we can do to the property. And so you're going to make it much better looking. When you see Brick Plaza right. or, uh, you know, uh, it, it, years down the road, a couple of years down the road, maybe even not, not that long, compared to what it was with an old A&P in there, you're going to say, wow, yeah, why didn't they really do that important. sooner? And, and, you know, we're looking, so, so just the last question, I, I know you're not uh, apparel or fashion that much, but it's been Some? very warm. It's been very warm. Not a great time for a lot of these companies. Yeah, I, look, I don't know. The 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 you got to remember where the real estate guys were not the the retailers. That's why and, I like you. But we were, I don't want your fashion risk, <laughs> and you don't have any. That's why Don Wood has made you so much money. Hey, I got one more thing I gotta say to you. You didn't like Flower Town. It's a great place Make in a Philadelphia. In, my old neighborhood. in I your neighborhood, it. you turned that neighborhood around. I wish I <laughs> wish you'd been there when I lived there. And Don Wood, president CEO of Federal Realty Investment Trust, and the guy we back for a long time because he's got the best portfolio properties and because he's a great manager. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.